Hello, I just wanted to talk about my critiques of what's so-called like Darwinism. Um, I, I believe a lot of the things that, that, that are in the origin of species. Uh, I do believe in the theory of evolution. Um, but in particular, there, there's, a, there's a statement that a lot of Darwinists use. I call it Darwinism because there are some people who believe in, uh, in it to such, a, such an extent that it can really only be called that, and that applies to things like social Darwinists and um, and evolutionary Dar Darwinists. In the the quote that I have particular concern with is the survival of the fittest. Uh, you know that that uh, that only the fittest of the creatures survive, and that's not necessarily true, because there are cases where you know like a, a really fit creature uh, happens to just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you know, fall off a cliff, or get eaten, get caught by surprise and eaten by an animal, or by another animal, and uh, or die of uh, of some kind of weird uh, biological disease that uh, other other animals of that uh, in that in that group may not have been uh, been exposed to. Anyway, I, that's all I wanted to say. I just I think that uh, the the idea of survival of the fittest, while it applies in general. It doesn't apply on an, on an individual to individual basis. Uh, I think that um, this is again my just my personal belief. I think that a lot of times uh, there are sort of things that are out of a spe out of a, an individual's control, and to say that they were unfit, you know, like like it's sort of like you you can say, well, capitalism works because those who work the hardest end up succeeding, and that's not really true. I mean, it's very rarely true. In fact, 98% of the they say that 98% of the of the people in, in a in a given class in a capitalist society don't um, break out or don't don't excel beyond their class or don't break above their class. Typically, if you're born middle class, you'll stay middle class, and if you're born lower class, you'll stay lower class. Upper class will stay upper class. Uh, and so, again, survival of the fittest. It's like it. If you, if you take it even, even in capitalism, survival of the fittest doesn't really work because people uh, are sort of bound by by the the structure of society. And granted, there are a few that, that break out, and they're the ones who were celebrated and shown, oh, this is why capitalism works. But you but you don't really discuss the the ninety eight percent of people that either stay in their in the class they were born in, uh, regardless of how hard they work, or the people who uh, who fall into lower classes no matter how hard they work. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I want to talk about. Um, like I said, Dar Darwinism, I'm not a big fan of Darwinism, but I do believe in the theory of evolution. I do believe uh, pretty much almost everything that's in, uh, that's in the origin of species. So don't, uh, don't take this as an attack on evolution, because it's really not. Uh, but this is an attack on, on the concept of survival of the fittest, because survival of the fittest is something that really hasn't um, played out. In, in, um, in evolution and in, and in uh, human societies. So, thank you. Bye.